Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back for part three of Diary of a Pumpkin. If we look at this date, September 30th, we are now five months later. Five months later, we planted the seeds, the seeds, in April. The end of April. She looks very happy, doesn't she? Why? Because her pumpkin is fully grown. Let's read this diary. My pumpkins are huge now. Huge, very big, bigger than me. Not yet, but very big. That is what huge means. They are ready to pick. Do you remember pick means here means to harvest. It means to take the vegetables or take the fruit from the trees or the plants or the ground. So they are ready to harvest. They are ready to pick, and if I want. I can eat. Granddad got a measuring tape. We measured my pumpkins. Remember, Granddad and the little girl want to see who has the biggest pumpkin. Who do you think, Granddad or the little girl? Okay. Let's look and find out. We measured Granddad's pumpkins too. Who will have the biggest pumpkin? Now they're going to measure around, around the pumpkin. They're going to see whose is bigger, and maybe how much they weigh, the weight. You can see all the pumpkins back there. Many of them. Here is the green plant. There's the leaves, the stem, and now the big pumpkin. Wow! Let's look at the next page. October first. I won! I won! <gasps> She is the winner. She has the biggest pumpkin. Let's find out how big her pumpkin is. My biggest pumpkin. That means she has many. She grew many pumpkins, but the biggest one, the biggest one, was twenty-three inches around, around here, right here, twenty-three inches around, which is about fifty-seven centimeters. About. Fifty-seven centimeters, and it weighed eighteen pounds. That's about eight kilograms. That's a pretty big pumpkin. Fifty centimeters around and eight kilograms. Wow, she got first. So Granddad's pumpkin will be smaller. Let's find out. How big Granddad's pumpkin is? Granddad's biggest pumpkin was twenty inches around. Twenty inches is about fifty centimeters. About fifty. Very close to the little girls. Very close. And it weighed sixteen pounds, which is about seven kilograms. So Grandpa got second place, but the two pumpkins were very close, very similar. What are you going to do with all those pumpkins? Mom asked. Just wait and see, we said. Hmm. What can you do with these pumpkins? I gave you one clue. You can eat them. 
Do you think she is going to eat these pumpkins? Maybe something very different. And if you can look, you see all these leaves on the ground. Do you know what season this is? Does it look like winter? No. Does it look like summer? No. This season has two names. Fall or autumn. Let's see, M and N. Okay, this is autumn or fall. Let's find out what Granddad and the little girl are going to do with their pumpkins. Wow! They didn't eat the pumpkins at all. This is what Granddad and I did with those pumpkins. What did they do? Do you know a special word to say what they did with these pumpkins? I know one. I'll give you the little secret. C A R V E D. Carved. Granddad and the little girl carved the pumpkins. What did they make? They made faces. What kind of face is this? This one looks like a, a silly face. Can you make a silly face? Go ahead and try. This one, hmm. This is a, a scary face or a surprise face. Maybe this pumpkin is frightened. And this one here, this pumpkin looks sad. No, this is a happy pumpkin. Can you look happy? Very good. Why did Granddad and the little girl carve the pumpkins? I think I know why. Let's find out. Wow! They made jack-o'-lanterns. Can you say jack-o'-lantern? Jack-o'-lantern. I'll spell it for you. J-A-C-K, Jack, like the name, O, and then Lantern, Jack-O-Lantern. Very good. Now, you can see this here and this one. These are called lanterns. A lantern is a kind of light. Now, these jack-o'-lanterns have light, but they're made in a pumpkin. Do you know when we use and make jack-o'-lanterns? It's a special holiday called Halloween. H-A-L-L O W E E N Halloween. Now they use these to kind of frighten off any ghosts that may be around your home. Have you ever made a jack o' lantern? They're very fun. So maybe this year you can make a jack o' lantern with your mom and dad. We've finished the story of a diary of a pumpkin. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next book. Goodbye!